We're really excited to be back in the Coral Sea following on from the fantastic work that was done in the previous survey on Falcor where they mapped 35,000 square kilometres of the seabed in this Coral Sea marine park that we're in at the moment. What we're doing is we're following on from that great work by being able to actually sample some of the uh, biological communities that were imaged in that previous survey. We know that the tops of these reefs are highly diverse and have abundant marine life, but the margins of the reef, the deeper areas, haven't really been looked at in any detail before, certainly not below diver depths. And on this survey, we're going to be looking at the full depth range of the reef margins using some amazing equipment here on Falcor. So one of the major benefits of Falcor is that we have a, a host of sonars on our gondola up near the bow from multi-beam sensors, single beam, sub-bottom profilers, and current profilers. And this allows us to collect bathymetry data of the seafloor in much higher resolution than what is available to us with the satellite imagery that we have now. The CTD that Falcor has, has the capability of doing water collection as well as doing profiling of the physical chemistry throughout the water column. So we have dissolved oxygen, we have conductivity or the salinity, we have the temperature, and of course the depth. We also have a fluorometer which measures the chlorophyll in the water so we can verify where the most amount of life would be or the plankton and a transmissometer uh, for turbidity and for light transmission. The AUV series that's been brought on board by the researchers for this leg of the cruise, the Autonomous Underwater Vehicle, is a special vehicle because we can put it in the water, it gets a mission programmed into it and it goes off with all of its sensors to collect data uh, several meters off of the seafloor including high resolution photographs bathymetry from a multi-beam system, as well as any other sensors that they want to outfit onto that. ROV Sebastian is the remotely operated vehicle that we have here on Falcor, and what that allows us to do is when we deploy Sebastian, it can go down with 4K cameras and other sensors outfitted on it to record video data and scientific sensor data through the water column, and then when it reaches the sea floor, it has manipulators and bio boxes and crates that we can take samples, store them, the duration of the dive, which can be indefinite because it's powered by a tether back up to the ship. And once we run out of room, we can come back to the surface for the scientists to process their samples. By being able to acquire data that spans these full depth ranges, not just in terms of images, but in terms of samples, we can start to build a picture of how these ecosystems are operating and the processes that are sustaining the biological communities. 